Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to this Blend tutorial. And for those of you who don't know, Blender is a free to download 3D animation software. When you first fire up the program, you're greeted with this little image right here. I guess they, they made this very image you see before you in this program. It's a pretty good marketing strategy, you know, showing what this program is capable of, right? But when you open up for the when you open up a new document, you're greeted with this default cube. You're probably asking yourself, how do they go from this cube to the image you just saw earlier today? Well, good question, little Tommy, because frankly, I don't know. I'm not a professional and I'm just mostly here to walk you through the basics. Now, if you're using this for the first time, you may be overwhelmed with all these buttons. I mean, what's this? What's all that? What well, you got these gizmos, levers, switches? Well, I mean, what is going on here? OK, so let's just take it one step at a time. We're just going to ignore everything, okay? What, here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab your little mouse and select the little default cube. It's going to be highlighted in orange. Using your little scroll on your scroll wheel on your mouse, you zoom in and out, right, so you get a close-up of, like, the object. Now you want to hold shift on your keyboard and click on the mouse, and you're able to, like, pan left and right, up, down, you know, like, to get a good look around your environment. If you don't, if you're not holding shift, you just, you tend to like just rotate around the object. But if you hold shift, you're able to pan left and right. Is this making sense? Good. Now we're just gonna play around with this little, with this little cube. There are just three simple buttons. Grab, rotate, and scale. All right, simple enough. Right now we are currently in object mode. If we click down the arrow, you see like this little menu show up. We got texture paint, vertex paint, sculpt mode, edit mode, object mode. We're not gonna worry about all that stuff right now, okay? Just, I just, right now I just want you to focus on these two right here, object and edit mode. We're gonna go into edit mode. And as you can see, a bunch of these buttons here on the side just popped up. What do they mean? That's not important right now, okay? Don't worry about that. What, we, what you should be focusing on is that your cube looks a little different now. Next to where it says object mode, you see these three little buttons right here. One is vertex, edge, and face mode. I like to call it dot, line, and surface. People, if you watch tutorials, they, they all got like their different terminology. I like to call it surface or face mode, right? I get to select the certain surface on the, like the cube and such, right? And now what we're gonna do is just gonna select one. It doesn't, you don't have to be, doesn't matter which one, just choose any one of these surfaces and you'll be fine. Now remember, you're gonna wanna press E for extrude. You press E and as you will see, I've made an E. Eh, eh? This will, when I get bored, I like to just, you know, start off with the cube and then hit the E button, and then just see where it goes from there. And then you can like select other surfaces, hit E, and then just kind of get creative. See that? Pretty cool, isn't it? Oops. Right on. If you look here on the top right of the, like the, the screen, you got different versions. You got wire mode, you got a little solid shading mode. I like to work with render mode because it shows you like how everything is going to like look and such. Right now I'm currently in shading mode. Nice. I like to, I like to call this one right now I'm, I I like to call this one solid mode. All right? Now we're going to go down here this little red ball. Not to be confused with this red globe. Trust me, my first time using Blender, I got the two confused. To avoid confusion, the one on the very bottom. This is very important. I didn't knew this the first time. It, make sure you are still in edit mode. Okay, so if you can see here, we are at the, like we have like the this material, right? It's like gray. To change the color, you ch you go here where it says base color, and you're given this little rainbow. You can make it darker, lighter and just choose any other color you like. Oops, 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 oops. I like 
I like the color pink. Right, so let's just go with that. Now let's say if you want let's say if you want this object to have two more than more than one color, you just simply go to this plus button up here, it creates another slot. Think of it as a as a paint bucket, right? When you're painting, you have a bucket for like this one color and a, pu a bucket for another color. What happens if you mix two colors in the same bucket, then they're going to mix and make create something new. It's not like 2D drawing where you just select another color and then just start painting. No, you have to create a new paint bucket, hit new right here, and then select another color. Right? And if you want it, and if you want to add more colors to the object, well then you just simply add more paint buckets. Make sense? And to avoid confusion, just give the, the color a name. I know there's some Blender experts out there who like to say material, and I perfectly understand that. But me personally, I like to call it a, co a color bucket just to avoid confusion. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to select like all the surfaces you want. Go to the paint bucket that you want, and then hit assign. And then that's going to change like the color of it. Let's choose another color, let's say like a green. Okay, perfect. Name that green. Select some, sur select some surfaces for the sake of example. Click green, click the green paint bucket, hit assign, and look at your little beauty. Wow, ain't that amazing. All right, so we're gonna hit Render, switch to render mode. So now, how you, now that you know the basics, just give Blender a try and see where you go from here. I'd like to see what you guys make and leave a comment down below. Hey guys, future me talking. Okay, and as you can tell, this is the part of the video where I ask you know if you if you enjoy, leave a like, comment down below. What are some of your thoughts? We love to hear about it. And do <clears throat> be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified for future uploads. If you guys really enjoy our show and you want to support this channel financially, one way you can do so is to go over on our Patreon page. But what I really wanted to share with you guys today is our Sketchfab page that we just made recently. Now, for those of you who don't know, Sketchfab is a website where artists can either purchase or sell 3D models. Links are down in the description below, and we highly, once again, we highly encourage you guys to go check it out. With that being said, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Are we? Are we still rolling? Oh, good. I can't stop smiling like a... I'm just, look at me, I'm looking like a creep. Oh, uh,